download Kinovia, navigate to www.kinovia.org. Click on Beta Releases and download the newest release, version 9.3. You can use either the .zip file or the .exe. Once downloaded, install Kinovia and you're ready to go. In this first Kinovia tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to load, synchronize, crop, and save videos. So the first thing you want to do is click on the icon that shows two TVs. Now you can drag your videos into each frame. Since the frontal video is so zoomed out, I'm going to zoom in a little bit to make it easier to see the initial sprint. In order to synchronize the videos properly, you need to identify the same event in both videos. In this case, we'll use the initial lift of her back foot. To do this, you can scrub through the timeline on each individual video and find the point where her foot first lifts off the ground. Use the Go to Next Frame button to move frame by frame through the video. So here we can see the foot's lifting off. If we zoom in a bit more, So that'll be our initial frame. Now, if you've remembered to set your time display to time plus frame number, you can look at the frame number right here. You can see the frame number down here and it's frame 374 in the frontal video. We'll now do the same thing in the sagittal view. So in this video, we can see that it's frame 872 where her foot initially lifts off the ground. An easy way to keep track of your frame synchronization is to use an Excel spreadsheet. So now we need to choose our initial start frame. This should be right before the athlete starts to move. So here if we go to frame 225, that looks like a good place to start on the frontal video. You can record that frame in your Excel spreadsheet under the start frame. Now we can calculate the offset from our sync frame to our start frame by subtracting the start frame from the sync frame. To make sure that our sagittal video is synchronized, we can subtract the offset from our sync frame in order to determine the correct start frame. Now we can play the video through and determine the point where we'd like to stop. So here, she's out of frame by 600. So we'll add a few extra frames as a buffer for the end. We'll say that frame 620 is the end of our video. To determine the length of the video, we can just subtract our final endpoint, so 620, minus our start frame. The length will be the same for both our frontal and sagittal videos. So when we crop the video, we'll start at the start frame and we'll go forward for 395 frames. To crop the videos, scroll to your start frame. So here we're at frame 225 on the frontal video. You can hit set the first frame in the working zone. And then we'll play through for 395 frames. and end working zone, or set the last frame of the working zone. Now for our sagittal video, we'll start at frame 723. Set the working zone. And scroll forward 395 frames. And now we'll set the last frame of the working zone. Now to save your cropped videos, select each one separately. Make sure that your playback speed is set to one times. We'll start with the frontal video. Click on save and save video with annotations permanently applied to the video. In this case, we haven't done anything to change the videos. So we want to start with the raw video, but if you've done any keyframes or drawn any lines or diagrams, those will be printed with the video as well. Now we'll do the same thing with the sagittal view. Now we can load in our cropped videos by dragging them onto the timeline. Now if we play it with the joint controls, it'll start both videos at the same time and we should see that they're synchronized. Now if you've recorded your videos in portrait mode instead of landscape, 
You can select the video, go up to Image, Image Rotation, and you can set the rotation that you need. We're now ready to start learning about the basic tools of Kinovia, so check back for the next video.